Oh, wow. What's up guys, welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to be sharing a trip with Captain Jamie of Eastern Shore Light Tackle nice. Charters. So today we were light tackle jigging the Chesapeake Bay for rockfish, for striped bass. The rockfish were gorging themselves and pushing a bait. So if you found the birds, you found the fish. I mean somewhere near the mountain. So on this channel I do a lot of how to's and share my experiences fishing, crabbing, kayaking, and boating, and just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors. So if those interest you, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below. And click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Yeah. I'm hooked up. I'm sorry, Tom, but I'll see you when I'm marking off and you're not to catch anything. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Catch him up, dude. I'll see you when I'm marking anything. I mean, I'm going to catch him. He's a good thing. See that thing? He was, right? That's not right. I'm marking. <laughs> birds were pretty much everywhere, so we spent the day moving from different pods of birds that were feeding on bait. So in general, the size of the birds can help you dictate the size of the fish that are also feeding on the bait. If you found smaller birds, they're usually feeding on smaller bait, which would in turn mean smaller rockfish. And then if you found larger birds, there'd be feeding on larger bait, which would in turn <laughs> have bigger rockfish underneath them. Yeah, pretty fish. Nice That's nice fish. Oh, yep. So right here I put my rod down so I could turn on my 360 camera that was in the T-top and watch what happens. Hey, wait, look at that. I caught one dead stick in it. <laughs> and he was like only... I caught one of your live stick in it. That's me new fish are hungry when you're dead stick in it. Yeah, it was only like 10 feet, 10 feet of line maybe. There's so many fish on the train. Somebody's picking up. Yeah. <laughs> So right here is a perfect example of vertical jigging. I'll toss out my bait and let it hit the bottom. Once my jig hits the bottom, I'll give my rod sharp pops and let it hit the bottom and give it another sharp pop. As the jig falls, make sure you maintain contact with it so you can detect a strike. The fish usually hit it on the fall. Nice fish. One side of the boat's hooked up, one side's not. 
<laughs> so what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Dude? <laughs> I must have pulled the boat in the wrong angle. <laughs> the tackle I was using today was a 2500 Shimano Stratic CI4 with a 20 pound braid with a 30 pound leader and a Powell rod. Pretty fish, isn't it? Yeah, uh, chunky. So today we're using one to two ounce coach jig heads tipped with Bustin Baits and Z-Man Streaksies. I'll provide a link to everything I use in the description below. Most of these fish were really fat <laughs> and full of bait. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Even Captain Jamie got in on the action. As you can see, you can catch rockfish with spinning or bait casting gear with no problem. So this is my first time using 360 footage. I plan to use more of it in the future. What do you guys think of the 360 footage? Let me know in the comment section below. So here you'll see me working my rod a little bit more erratically because I'm actually working it through the water column. The fish aren't always on the bottom, sometimes they're suspended or even on the top. Get on top. Ah, it was. Yeah, it was. You should always make sure you take a peek at the fish finder so you can see where the fish actually are. <laughs> In this picture you can see that they're actually suspended. So that would give you an idea of how you should be working your lure. Now we're off to work another pot of birds. Here you could see me peeking back at the fish finder so I could see what depth the fish are. Right here, Captain Jamie put us on a big pot of birds. If you pay attention to the surface of the water, you'll see big fish busting all over. 
Yeah, we're in the inner circle now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. We are. Well, everybody else is on the outside. Yeah, we got a bunker coming up. We got a bunker. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Oh wow, really everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere. We got a buster right next to it. It's awesome. Oh, look at the, see the hit? See the bait? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was a big one. Look at the spring now, boys. We can catch one now. Oh my gosh, they're like right there. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. Big fish. Yeah. He's in his group. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised nobody's hooked up yet. <laughs> oh, he just had it. Damn it. There you go. Yeah, that's a nicer fish. Fish. Let's get a little football. Oh, these things are really fat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's just a fat guy. Yeah. Now look at that. Holy <laughs> that's a fat fish. That's a vehicle thanksgiving, boy. That's a fatty fatty. There he is. <laughs> oh, he came off. A mess of fish, ain't it? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a trap. It's going in the background. Oh, yeah, this guy's pulling the rag. Feels like a better fish. Yeah.
Yeah. 28, 30. That's a beautiful fish, man. I forget a picture though. Yes, sir. Absolutely. It's a nice fish. You get that sun in the background. Yeah. Beautiful fish, man. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. So here I'm working the jig horizontally. I'll make a long cast and when I engage the reel I give the rod short pops to give it an erratic action working it higher in the water column. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was swimming right to the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was an awesome day on the water, and we caught well over 200 fish on the boat. Most of the fish range between the mid 20s to some close to 30 inches. How chunky these things are. If you'd like to experience outstanding light tackle fishing on the Chesapeake Bay, give Captain Jamie a call. I'll provide his contact information in the description below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.